Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lessons, and I am your host, Uncle C. Today's story is called Hezekiah's 15 Years, and it's taken from 2 Kings 21 to 11. And what I have done today, I have inputted the story and the scripture reading so you can read along as I go with the story. The action text is taken from 2 Kings 20, 10. Hezekiah answered, it's easy for the shadow to go forward 10 steps. Instead, let it go back 10 steps. Now on to the story. Hezekiah was very sick. In fact, he was almost dying. He was almost dead and he was concerned. Isaiah came to him and Isaiah told him, this is what the Lord says, you are going to die. So you should give your last orders to everyone. You will not get well. In other words, he was saying, if you have a will, make out your will. If you have some requests, tell the people what you want because you are going to die. Hezekiah, he was so sad. He turned to the wall and he prayed. He said, Lord, please remember that I've always obeyed you. I have given myself completely to you. I have done what you said. And Hezekiah was crying. I can imagine Hezekiah just crying and crying. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Just wondering what was going on. But soon he had good news. Before Isaiah left the courtyard, the Lord spoke to Isaiah. He said, go back to Hezekiah. Tell him, I have heard his prayers. I have seen his tears and I will heal him. Three days from now, he will be in the temple. So Isaiah went to Hezekiah and those tears just turned to tears because Hezekiah was told that the Lord would add 15 years to his life. He would also save his city from the enemies and he would protect them. Isaiah told him, you know, just make a paste from figs and put them on your boils and you will be well. Then Hezekiah thought for a while. He said, well, what will be the sign that the Lord will heal me? What is the sign that I should go to the temple? What should I do? And Isaiah said, well, the Lord will do what he says. Now, this is a sign from the Lord to show you. What do you want? Do you want the shadow of the sun to go forward 10 steps? And what 10 steps meant was 10 degrees. But Hezekiah said, no, mm -mm. it is easy for the shadow of the sun to go forward 10 steps. Instead, let it go back 10 steps. And boys and girls, let me explain to you what that means. Have you ever been outside in the yard or outside somewhere and you are following your shadow, but your shadow always goes forward because as the earth rotates, the sun moves and your shadow moves with it. It moves forward. Hezekiah was saying, I want my shadow to go back because then I would know it's a miracle. And just as Hezekiah requested, the Lord did the same thing for him. The sun went back. Hezekiah saw that miracle and he was healed. Now, boys and girls, there are some points to remember. Jesus hears our prayers. We can tell him what's in our hearts. He can do all things which seem impossible. Hezekiah reached out to him. He poured his heart out. And you can do the same thing. All right, boys and girls, if I were to say the story in rhyme, it will go like this. King Hezekiah was sick in bed. He felt worse when he heard he would soon be dead. He returned to the wall and began to pray and cry. I can imagine him saying, oh, Lord, why? Oh, why? 
Isaiah returned and told him about the 15 years, and Hezekiah's tears soon turned into chairs. He even asked God to move the sun 10 degrees. Miracles can happen when we approach God on our knees. All right, boys and girls, are you ready? What is the answer? Question number one, why did Isaiah visit Hezekiah? A, he wanted to pray for him. B, he wanted to heal him. C, he went to tell him that he would die. Or D, he went to say hello. What is the answer? And if you say C, he went to tell him that he would die, you are correct. Question number two. When Hezekiah heard the initial news, what did he do? A, he turned to the wall and prayed. B, he said, Lord, please remember that I have always obeyed you. C, he cried. D, all of the above. What is the answer? Did you say D? Well, that is the answer. All of the above. Question number three. Why did Isaiah visit Hezekiah again? A, he wanted to see if he was in a better mood. B, he wanted to pray with him since he was sad. C, he wanted to tell him that he would live for 15 more years. Or D, he wanted to take him to the hospital. What is the answer? The answer is C, he wanted to tell him that he would live for 15 more years. And finally, question number four, what was Hezekiah's request? A, let the shadow go back 10 steps. B, let the shadow go forward 10 steps. C, give me the strength to go to the temple today to pray. Or D, heal me without putting pace on my boils. What is the answer? And if you say A, let the shadow go back 10 steps, you are correct. Boys and girls, thank you for taking this quiz. Now it is prayer time. So let us approach our Lord, let us bow our heads, let us close our eyes, and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we know that you are the ultimate healer. You can do all things. Continue to remind us of this. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, boys and girls, I thank you for being with me today. And as you go through the week, always remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye for now.